It's strange but true. We live in transformative times. We've discovered we can work from home, shop from home, study at home. But how connected have we as adults ever been to the world outside? And how much can we expect our children to know about the lives of flower sellers, grocers or farmers? The National Education Policy 2020 encourages holistic, inquiry-based and discovery-based learning. Get your students to experience a part of India most of us rarely get the chance to visit. Presenting the Pari series by Karadi Tales. Karadi Tales had the wonderful opportunity to collaborate with P. Sainath, the founder of People's Archive of Rural India, and publish five books that bring to light real stories of people in rural India. Each with a revelation of hope, passion, and determination. Each with the objective to build empathy, awareness, and critical thinking. They are very gently acquainting children with very large realities. Pari lends content to those stories. Coming Home by Preeti David. Visit the tribal hamlets of Sitilingi Valley where a group of resourceful children build themselves a future. A Big Splash by Niveda Ganesh. Get sucked into the world of competitive swimming and watch a young girl from Surganpur make it to the Paralympics. No Nonsense Nandini by Aparna Kartikeyan. Meet feisty and bold Nandini, a remarkable woman who juggles single parenthood and the challenges of being a woman farmer. No Ticket Will Travel by Subuhi Jivani. Meet six different migrant laborers traveling in search of a living, overcoming all odds. House of Uncommons by Vishaka George. Get transported to Snehagaon, a beautiful boarding school, and join children living with HIV as they discover their passions and take on the world. This rural India, as large as it is diverse, goes completely unnoticed by urban children who have no idea about the lives that their counterparts lead. We realized that we couldn't let go of the story. So we took up the job of converting it into a script to do it as a play. And the story made me wonder that all biographies are written about famous people. But we have never wondered what a life of a small girl would be this hard. If you look at the way the entire book was executed, it became a doing book. Since most of our children come from cities, they got an opportunity to compare and contrast the life in rural and urban India. It had so many layers and one huge thing was the empathy that it generated. The rural backdrop because of which children are able to relate themselves. What are the people going through? What kind of hardships they are facing? Are they happy? Are they unhappy? Are they getting enough opportunities? Pari books tell us stories that don't reach us. Uh, the stories of those who work in the shadows of our lives. They build our roads, they build our homes, uh, they grow our food, they clean our meat. And that's what really holds them apart from mainstream uh, Indian children's literature. Bring these books into your classroom and let your supplementary reader lead you to a new level of inspiration, insight and inquiry. Unlock the door to rural India. Open up fascinating discussions on current events, social studies, civics, diversity and inclusion.